Hi guys, happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another thing that I haven't had in forever. Um, you probably can't tell by this plain white paper bag. Um, but I'm excited about it. I was in the mood for a sandwich. Um, I don't eat a whole, a whole lot of sandwiches. I like sandwiches, but I try to avoid gluten. Um, and bread is, has a lot of carbs. I'm doing my diet better, whatever. But after the weekend I've had, um, and after the day I've had, honestly, it's been a rough day, um, I deserve some carbs. So this paper is really cute. Um, it's good sense. I didn't say that. It's good sense. Mr. Good Sense. I don't know how to hold this appropriately. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to set up my little sandwich here. Um, like I said, I was just really feeling a sandwich today. So I've got my sandwich. I also got some chips. Um, what is your favorite, hang on, I need napkins, oh, I can't reach, yes, I can, okay, what's your favorite sandwich place, like, fast food sandwich place? I haven't had Mr. Good Sense in years, and honestly, it, like, it takes me back to, um, when I was younger, and I'll tell you why in a second, I got some chips, mmm, I love me a sun chip. Oh yeah. So here is my sandwich. I got white bread, turkey. Oh, it's turkey, cheese, mayo, a little bit of lettuce, and cucumber. Um, just a little bit of veggies, not too many veggies. I'm not a big veggie guy, but a little veggie guy. That's very tasty. Um, and this is why good sense takes me back. When I was younger, I played basketball. So my parents let us have one sport. We could have two activities. One sport and one something else, like musical instrument, other non-sport activity. My sister and I both played piano, and then I played basketball, and she did dance. And so Saturday mornings, she would always have dance class, and I would have basketball games. And so my dad would take me to basketball games. My mom would take my sister to dance because they would normally at the same time, and then we'd meet up at Goodson's afterwards. I don't think I've had Mr. Good since, since my youth, when I was playing basketball and my sister was doing dance. It has a very familiar flavor. And I like it. Does anyone else get cucumbers on their salads? I mean, sandwiches. I don't like pickles. But I like cucumbers. But I like relish. I don't know, I'm weird. 
Mm -mm. I said white lettuce, and she loaded it up. Now it's a little too dark. I'm gonna put these out, but I don't want them to fall off. There we go. Gang's all here. Also, I wanted to thank everyone for your super kind comments and words um, regarding my family's t tough decision about our dog. A lot of you are fellow animal lovers and can either sympathize or empathize with the feelings and thoughts we are going through. you my parents were gonna go take her to the vet and see what the vet had to say and uh, he was very reassuring he said we are thinking about this in the right way that there's nothing else to really wait for um, the time really couldn't be more right than it is if there is a right time <clears throat> and one thing he said that I really liked and appreciated and found very comforting was that um, he said she would thank us if we could. She would thank us if she could. And that made my heart feel a lot better that um, we are doing what was best for her. So that was on Thursday. And then um, my siblings and everyone got into town over the weekend. And on Sunday night, we... Um, had arranged to have a photographer come and um, just because that was the first time and the last time that we were all together and by all of us I mean all of my like core family my husband my sister's husband and then my our dog and then my sister's dog so all nine of us were together um, for the very first time and so we had a photographer come and we got some really awesome uh, pictures just like hanging out outside by the fountains and the grass just like lounging on some couches just natural and like in our element and enjoying each other and um and then we we put Josie down her name is Josie on on sun on Monday Monday morning so it was really nice to have those moments together and to have those pictures now that we'll cherish forever and she was still um 
like she still seemed happy and stuff in the pictures and um and I'm just really glad we have those pictures our photographer was super sweet and we had told her like why we were getting pictures taken and um she was just she was so nice she had written my mom a little card um just that her thoughts and prayers would be with us the next day and she felt lucky and blessed that we chose her to be our photographer to capture these sweet precious final moments with our sweet dog and it was just that was a really special moment I can't tell if my screen is dim or if the video is dim. It's driving me crazy. Um, so that was Sunday evening. And then on Monday, we had the vet, nurse, doctor, whatever she was, come over to our home and we put her down at our home. Um, and that went as well as that could have possibly gone. Um, I can't imagine doing it at a vet's office. Those of you who've had to put animals down and did it at the vet's office, how do you do it? Like, I just, I just can't imagine. Plus, no one enjoys going to the vet. Like, no dog goes, enjoys going to the vet. So, I'm glad she got to be in an environment she's comfortable in. She just laid in my mom's lap. Um, and I don't want to go into too much details because it'll probably make me sad and upset. I was, I was more upset like cried way more than I thought that I would like I knew it would be really hard for our family because we love this dog and like I said we've had her since the very beginning um and it was really really hard but um it was a really emotional day I'm glad we did it when we were all together and the service the company that we used who came to us they were amazing um and just made it again as peaceful and um, kind and just they made a really hard thing easier than it could have been that's what I'm trying to say I guess so we're all super sad we all really miss her but we also all feel an overwhelming feeling of peace and just comfort and that we did the right thing and that she's so much happier now and in such a much better place just running through the fields eating all the treats she wants hanging with our other dog who passed away a couple years ago i'm a big believer that all dogs go to heaven and heaven would not be heaven for me without my pets. So. But it was really, ha it was really hard. I'm glad it's over. Um, but I'm glad she's in a better place. But thank you, seriously, for all of your kind words. There's a man picking up trash right out my window. But it's fine. I'm not awkward. He's probably wondering why I'm holding my food up here, but it's fine.
freaking tasty. Wow. You know, when you eat the chip dust and the powder and the seasoning, wow, just powerful. Anywho, friends, thank you for joining me for this sandwich and chips, this nostalgic little meal. Thank you again for your kind words. They did not go unappreciated. Um, hope everyone had an awesome Labor Day. And you had a good long weekend with your friends and your family. And I'm really happy it's September. Just thrilled about it. That wasn't sarcastic. That was very serious. I'm really excited for fall. Okay, I'm going to go now. Have an awesome Thursday. Have an awesome Friday. Have an awesome weekend. And we'll...